Hello and welcome to American Lit One in fall 2021. My name is Lee Kolb. I will be your instructor this semester. Um, I will post little overview videos like this pretty much every week or at least with some frequency. Um, and while we're talking about videos, I want you to also know that you can always email me, call me, or set up a Zoom meeting um, or an office appointment if you'd like to meet with me in person or virtually. Um, so I just wanted to take a few minutes to go over kind of what the class looks like and what to expect week to week. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen and I have my Canvas page set to what it looks like for you right now. Okay, here we go. All right, so um, here's our Canvas page so far. I opened this up on Monday midday and noted in my email to you last week and also um, in these introductions, uh, introductory assignments, that our class format will go from Wednesday to Wednesday. So pretty much every week you will have assignments due on Wednesday by midnight and I will post the new week's readings and assignments, um, typically by Wednesday at noon. So there will be about 12 hours that you'll know what's coming the next week while you still might be working on some things from last week. But our official class um, kind of period goes from Wednesday to Wednesday. Uh, so again, this is what you see when you log in. I'll open the syllabus to look at that first. Um, and you know with Canvas, this opens up as its own web page, but if you would like to download it as a file, you can certainly do that too. You just click right here on the um, on the word attachment and it will download. I'm not going to walk through um, the syllabus in too much depth because I trust that you will go through it and let me know if you have any questions. Um, here's the basic information about the course and my information as well. Um, my office if you are on campus, either as an on-campus student or ever want to visit campus, my office is in a hallway of English offices, um, just upstairs from the theater lobby. So if you know where the theater is, um, I'm just one floor up. Um, email is the best way to get a hold of me. Uh, so please, if you ever have any questions, you will hear me say that a few times over this first video please reach out and let me know if you have questions um, or thoughts or comments or want to have a conversation. These office hours are times that I uh, plan to always be in my office, ready for students to come talk, ask questions, visit. Uh, if any of these times don't work for you, because I'm also available via phone or Zoom during those times as well. So um, keep that in mind. And if none of those times work, but you still want to have a meeting with me, just shoot me an email and we will find a time that works for both of us. Um, other specific information about the course. This course, we go actually back farther than the colonial era. Um, and then our literature ends um, at the end of the Civil War, 1865. So this is the first half of the American literature sequence. The second half goes from 1865 to the present and that's typically taught in the spring. Um, to be in the class, you need to have gotten a C or better in comp one, at least, because uh, we certainly will be writing papers, doing a lot of reading, um, and reading from largely the textbook that you are uh, required to have. This is what it looks like. The Norton Anthology of American Literature, beginning 1865, shorter ninth edition. So please get that ASAP if you don't have it already. Um, and then I have other resources on um, Canvas in terms of writing resources. We'll look at those. And then you will also have other articles, videos, other texts that we will look at um, each week. I will post those for you. So anything that's not in the textbook, I will provide to you. Okay, we use Canvas, of course. If you have any issues in our Canvas course that seem to be class specific, like maybe I referred to something in an assignment, but you don't see it linked that week, 
shoot me a quick email. It's quite possible that I made a mistake and I just forgot to uh, make it live and it's still hidden. So just let me know. I do make mistakes once in a while. If you have major Canvas issues, like you're having trouble logging in, there are issues with courses being not open or not there, then please reach out to Chad Baldwin in the online learning help desk and the number and email address is in this section. But again, if it's something just kind of a little error that you think, you know, that might have been her fault, <laughs> just let me know. And you can see here uh, the outcomes. So this, is, this is what we'll be doing and working on um, this throughout the semester. This is kind of the contract part of the syllabus that if you show up virtually, do your reading, do your writing. Um, this is what you should come away with at the end of the semester. Okay, um, read more, please read the details about our institutional student learning outcomes and Core 42, this is a Core 42 class. Um, and then the COVID statement and policies, please do be really aware of all of these policies and protocols for the college. If you come to campus or if you are on campus indoors, we are requiring masks. Um, this right here, this part of your syllabus, this is what might be very different from class to class. So if you do have any in-person classes, pay close attention to what this section says. It's basically plan B. In case of having to um, move remote, having to not hold in-person classes, every class has a backup plan. For us, it's pretty easy. We're a fully online class. If anything were to happen, uh, pandemic related or otherwise, that we couldn't um, meet in person on campus, that doesn't really affect us at all. The only way it would affect you is if you rely on campus resources, like the internet, our computers. Um, if that is the case, then just be sure to have a backup plan. Um, and this goes for everyone. If you have a laptop that stops working, if you have slow internet at home, we have a lot of really great resources on campus. So I scroll down. Where is it? Oh, it was right here. So the ECC library um, is checking out devices, laptops, hotspots, iPads. So please be a self-advocate if you need any of those things. Um, we have those resources available for you. With all of these things, um, all of these, you know, COVID related issues or otherwise, your best course of action is to communicate with your instructor, communicate with me. Um, I know life happens. I know that for us, COVID and quarantining and illness may not have the same impact as it does in a face to face class. Um, but I know things can interrupt your work. And I just, I beg of you to let me know, um, reach out, communicate. I'm very easy to work with, but I'm not psychic. I can't read your mind and know what's going on and why you haven't logged in or turned in an assignment. Okay, um, all of this kind of boilerplate, boilerplate information, um, classroom and online, online conduct. Uh, we have a student conduct policy and an online um, learning agreement. Please be familiar with both of those. Uh, for us, when we have discussion forums, please be respectful. Your adults, your college students, I treat you as such. So in any of your communication, whether it's in a face-to-face -face classroom or online, be respectful. Um, certainly, hopefully, in many classes, you will learn new things, you will be challenged, um, you'll hear or see new perspectives. Sometimes that's uncomfortable, but that is why we are all here. Um, that is how we learn, typically. So uh, keep that in mind. Please never plagiarize. Um, if you do plagiarize, uh, we'll talk about this throughout the semester, but my plagiarism policy is generally speaking, you would get a zero on the assignment where plagiarism is found. There's some gray area here, right? So if you, accidentally forget to include in a text citation. That's very different than copying and pasting a whole paragraph from Wikipedia or a free essay website. So 
just make really good decisions and trust your brain. Um, please don't go to those free essay sites to um, take what someone else has said about a topic and try to pass it off as your own thoughts. Uh, so, and we'll talk throughout the semester also about citation, um, making sure you are citing your good sources properly. So attendance for us, uh, again, we our week runs from Wednesday to Wednesday. So for attendance, I look at a combination of have you logged in that week and did you turn in work that week? So um, that is kind of how this attendance works online. If you disappear for two weeks, you haven't logged on, you haven't turned anything in, you're not responding to emails, then you will be withdrawn from the course. So please don't disappear. A late work policy, I do accept late work. Um, I know I said that I wasn't gonna go over the syllabus in depth and now I kind of am. So hopefully you just are taking in this information and know to kind of go back to it if you have any questions about the syllabus throughout the semester. Um, I do accept late work, but that is not a policy you want to abuse because it's easy to um, kind of get caught in a spiral of, oh, I turned in something late last week, but now something new is due. That gets very stressful. But, you know, there might be once this semester that it would really benefit you. Like something came up and you really need to turn in something a couple of days late. Know my late work policies. Be aware of access services and a visa retention tools. Our learning center is amazing. So is our library. So please be aware of all of these resources that are for you on campus. Okay, now to the course outline. Um, this first part of the outline is quite sparse. Um, so the intro, just kind of getting our feet wet and understanding what will what tools you'll need for the semester. And here you'll see in the first half of the semester that it's most semesters are in you know two halves, first eight weeks, second eight weeks. But we also have dates um, dictating our organization of the class. So we spend about the first half of the semester, more or less, from the beginnings to 1820. And then we spent the last chunk of the semester from 1820 to 1865. So the readings, uh, we'll get to the text list, the readings you'll have every week from your textbook. Um, and then topics, these are topics that are maybe extra or supplementary that I have some sort of lesson each week about. It might be an article in a video, uh, but just something that was going on historically, culturally, that kind of enhances your understanding of the time period and the writing and um, you know written media of the time. Um, the method of student evaluation. This again, um, kind of like the outline I just showed you, is pretty bare bones. Um, this is a snapshot of what the whole semester will look like. Um, but each week you will have a reflection. Um, I actually keep your eyes, maybe don't download the syllabus quite yet. I'm probably going to go in and make this a little bit clearer and detailed. Um, but your major points this semester will come from writing. So you'll be practicing reflection writing pretty much every single week. Um, and then Midterm, you will have a longer essay, and then your final exam in the course is a final essay. So writing, that is what you will mainly be assessed over in the semester, and your final grade will reflect the writing that you did throughout the course of the semester. And here's the text list. So this is what will really guide us week by week. Um, this goes over with page numbers, the readings for the semester. I will show you, I'll kind of scroll down. Sometimes I will say selection and not give specific page numbers um, or excerpts. So selections here, um, let me find a better example of that. Emerson, 
So read nature and then selections from these longer pieces. What will happen is that week that I actually assign that reading, I will give you much more specific page numbers, like read these very specific page numbers from the selection. Um, so just kind of FYI, sometimes the page numbers are totally accurate. This poem is on this page, but sometimes there are much longer works in your textbook that we read a selection of. And I will make that very specific in your weekly assignment. But you can peruse this text list and see kind of just how much we cover this semester. It's kind of a remarkable class, I think, because we just start from with Native American oral literature, um, then Christopher Columbus, we get through the Declaration of Independence and the fiction and nonfiction of the time. So the first half of the course um, is a lot more in terms of English language, um, kind of the colonial era, nonfiction. And then we get more and more fiction infused into the American literary tradition as we go on. So we just really cover a lot of incredible work that infuses history, culture, um, and literature. We're not, we're not just reading words on a page. We're learning so much more than that. So um, hopefully you will find that kind of interesting and compelling. And we, there are a few films throughout the semester as well. So um, you can kind of see that. These will be linked. Um, we have streaming access to those, so I will link them in the class. And yeah. So that's a snapshot of the semester. So the syllabus is here at the top of the page. There are a lot of great resources at the top of this page. Um, a lot of these are uh, websites that go deeply into American literature and more information about American literature. Writing resources. So hopefully you've all taken a comp one class, maybe even a comp two class, and you're familiar with MLA formatting, MLA citation, um, and whether you are or, or not, we will, we will make it work, but there's here are some of my kind of favorite handouts for both writing and using sources, um, sticking to MLA formatting and also literary analysis. So be familiar with these resources at the top of the page. They'll be very helpful to you throughout the semester. And then here's pre-week one. I, most of you have already been in and uh, working on the little introductions and getting to know you quiz. Pretty soon, by the time you're watching this video, the class will look a bit more like this. So this is my view now. So this is what a week will look like. So you'll see the week go live midday Wednesday. Um, there will be an overview video oftentimes. This is what the assignment will look like. Pretty much every week you will read, watch. Most weeks you'll discuss and pretty much all weeks you will write. So each week the assignment follows this basic format, your reading assignment, what I want you to watch, and then engaging in discussion and writing a reflection each week. And here you'll see, if I give you a page number, that's your textbook. If I say link to articles, or if I give other kind of specific titles, those will be provided to you in the class itself. So um, these are these links. And you should open them. And again, you can go to the actual web page, or oftentimes they will open up right here in the class. Um, oftentimes, I want you to just kind of keep a hold of these resources to refer back to, perhaps when you want to write about something further. Um, but like this page, for example, I definitely want you to read these few paragraphs. And then maybe if you'd like to click around further, uh, but I just want you to have kind of that basic knowledge. I wanted to show you also this link from the Smithsonian Sometimes I will link something in class and you will get this little sad page face. Before you stop trying and think that it's a broken link, click at the top of the page here and go to the actual website. And oftentimes it works. So please remember that. 
here again. You have a few paragraphs with some basic information. And then if you'd like to dig in further, you can see some images, look at artwork, look at uh, primary sources that you might want to dig further into. And then each week I will also link to a YouTube playlist. This pretty much always comes up and says, nope, YouTube refused to connect. Ignore that, <laughs> click on this and it will take you to the playlist. So here you have a complete massive playlist that we're going to watch chunks from throughout the semester. But each week in the assignment, I say watch the creation story through Joseph Campbell. So you know, okay, I will watch the creation story through Joseph Campbell. So those are that's your watch assignment for the week. And I really encourage you every week when that assignment goes live, open it up and kind of stay, take stock of things. See how many pages from your textbook, um, open up the videos, see how many videos there are, because here this is probably a total of 30 minutes. Um, but some weeks there might be some longer videos. So that way, then you can organize your week accordingly. Because this is absolutely not too much work to do over the course of a week. But if you wait until Tuesday at midnight, it will be a nightmare and impossible. So please don't do that. Open up the assignment each week, um, click on the links, make sure they work, make sure you kind of see how long different resources are and organize yourself and your time accordingly. Um, and then your assignments. So we'll look first at, I'm gonna wrap things up um, after this, but, a graded discussion looks like this. Typically, uh, we will have a topic that you've read and I will give a few prompts. You can choose one of those prompts in your response, maybe put number one or number three, provide your answer. There's typically not a right or wrong answer. These are kind of open-ended discussion prompts. And um, then try to respond to your classmates as well and have a conversation. The other assignment, we won't have discussions every single week, but that certainly is something that we will do throughout the semester. Um, every week, though, you will have a writing assignment that will look somewhat like this, um, a reflection where I ask you to focus on something that you've read. And sometimes I give you a more specific prompt. This one is very open-ended. Um, focus on a specific passage from the introduction of the textbook that you find really interesting. It might be a historical event, a person or people, a law, a movement, a literary text, et cetera. And then write a couple of paragraphs about that topic, what interested you, what kind of pulled you in, what you learned, et cetera. Um, also, please refer to this tips for writing a reflection. It's a great handout um, since I'm asking you to write a lot of reflections. And this operates as a, an ungraded quiz, basically. So you, go in, you'll have a blank sheet, and you can just kind of write in your response. I will make um, the next week available kind of, I, I don't open up the whole class all at once, but you can kind of, so this is my view of the class right now, you can kind of go in and see, okay, this is the pattern, this is what kind of every week will look like. Once we get to mid-semester, um, Let me see, you'll see week six looks a little bit light. That's because there's a midterm assignment and essay that you'll be working on over the course of a couple of weeks. So there is definitely a rhythm and pattern to the course that hopefully really in the next week or so, you'll start to feel like, okay, this is what this feels like. This is what this is going to look like. Um, I can't stress enough that if there is like a legitimately dead link, like something is broken, um, something is confusing, please, please reach out to me and let me know and I will um, fix it. I will clarify whatever needs to be clarified. But um, yeah, I'm, that is what I am here for, um, to help and support and kind of learn along with you and teach you this semester. Um, I am predominantly a face-to-face -face instructor. Um, last year, I taught American Lit 1 and 2 
fully online. So this is my second year doing so. Um, so I, some of my colleagues are pros at teaching online and they do that um, frequently each semester. Um, again, I'm predominantly an in-person instructor, but so if anything is ever kind of confusing to you or you think that I'm making something not clear in the class, again, let me know. So I really look forward to working with each of you uh, this semester and reading your words and hopefully talking to you at some point, whether it's in person or via Zoom or via email. Um, but let me know if you need anything and I will look forward to kind of getting into the rhythm of the semester with you. This first week is always a bit hard, but week two, week three gets easier and easier. So have a great day and let me know if you need anything.